fitness routine for beginners. If you're that beginner, stay tuned for this video. Oh, cue the intro. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Reps for Rico and I am your humble host, Rico Tarantino. I basically lost about 126 pounds and 80 of those pounds I lost in 10 weeks. I'm here to share with you guys some of the things that I did to get there. If you're subscribed to my channel already, I truly appreciate you. And if you're new here, I truly appreciate you for clicking on this video. I'm gonna ask for you to click the subscribe button for me, please. And while you're at it, click that bell notification. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. And I'm a fun guy. Now, let's hop right into it. I'm gonna basically be giving you guys my fitness routine can tailor it to however you want to do it let me start off by telling you if you're someone who is extremely lean like very skinny and you just want to hit the weights every single day you can do that make sure you have at least one to two rest days but if you want to go up in there and attack back one day then attack chest one day and then attack tricep one day and then shoulder one day if you are lean that is fine for someone who's a little bit heavier you're going to want to put some cardio in that schedule my routine monday and tuesdays basketball slash cardio wednesdays back bicep tricep in that order thursdays chest and shoulder Friday Fridays, rest, Saturdays, legs, slash, cardio, and Sundays, rest as well. Two rest days, three days of cardio, two days of weight training. On my two days of weight training, I do back, bicep, tricep, in one day. The reason why I do that is because I want to attack the entire muscle group. Bicep, tricep, and back. A lot of the back workouts that you do will help warm up your biceps, which is why I combine them, okay? A lot of people do that. And also with chest and shoulders, I like to bench press for chest. Who I take that back? I don't like to bench press, but I will bench press. Bench press is a compound movement which is basically working multiple muscle groups at time when you do a compound movement like bench pressing you're working your chest your shoulder your triceps you're working multiple muscles it only makes sense to isolate those muscles before you do the compound movement i do compound movements at the end and i start off isolating but you'll understand as soon as we get into this video okay so let's go now i'll start my entire day of working out with getting on the treadmill every time i'll go get on the treadmill to get my heart rate up all right i'll stay on the treadmill for about 10 to 20 minutes at a time if I've been too sedentary for the day and not moving around throughout the day, I'll do 20 minutes, but it's typically around 10. Oh yeah, and by the way, shout out to my boy Luis. He filmed a lot of this footage at the gym. Basically all of it. Shout out to you, Luis. Okay, look at him smiling. Now, back, bicep, tricep. We're gonna get right into that. I will warm up my back by doing pull-ups all the time. Four sets of everything. Now, after pull-ups, we're gonna get into low seated rows. This is a pretty good workout. For me, I find that it works, you know, somewhere between my middle back to lower back. I really enjoy doing this this workout in particular and it also helps work your biceps as well it's like a pre-warm-up to your biceps after that we're gonna get right into the pull down i actually don't really know what it's called i'm, a, I'm assuming it's called like a lat pull down machine okay everybody's seen this machine this machine is even in my intro i enjoy this so much for the lats okay look at my lats my lats look pretty good after the lats we'll get right into biceps now bicep curling i got louise to demonstrate this first so, Louise here is doing bicep curls with a barbell. He's doing that. Me personally, I enjoy doing supersets. When you do a superset, it's doing more than one type of motion. Those dumbbells are 25 pounds each. And you see how I can't finish that set, but I'm still going and I'm holding and I'm putting the tension under the muscle? Put the tension on your muscles. That's how you break down the muscles. In turn, that's how you build them back up, okay? Now, I'll get a free weight of 45 and I'll curl that as well, okay? And I'm not stopping. No rest periods in this superset at all. No rest period. I'll get some 20 so i went lower and i'll work the bicep even more we're gonna get right into the rope i forget what this one is called i forget the names of the workouts but i'm not gonna get into all that man i'm just gonna show you guys how to do it these are bicep curls there you go bicep curls i love doing bicep curls and i typically will superset that with a tricep workout bicep tricep you want to work both parts of the muscle and also no rest periods when it comes to supersets it's scientifically proven that when you put tension on the bicep without giving it any time to breathe that it promotes more muscle growth so that's why i do supersets for biceps i do nothing 
nothing else. Only that one superset. And then I'll use the rope and I'll do bicep curls. Now, chest and shoulder. I'll get on the dip machine. And this, you know, depending on how you do it, the dip machine will help work your triceps, but it also, you know, will help your lower pectoral muscles. So I'll superset this with also some push-ups. Now we're gonna get right into our cable flies, okay? This is also to work the lower pectoral muscle. We wanna have that nice little pec. Make sure your legs are on point, that your legs are even when you're doing this. Make sure that you are on point. Form is everything. If you don't have good form on any of these things that you're doing, you will fail at it. And also, let me stop this video for a second just to let you guys know my motto when it comes to lifting weight. This is a part of my fitness routine as well. My motto is, if you can do more than eight, increase the weight, bro. Increase the weight, sis. I got people telling me that I'm only talking to the men, so I'm talking to you, sis. I see a lot of women in the gym doing this with these little bit of weights. You're not breaking down muscle. You're only doing what you, your body can already do. You're not actually putting strain or tension on the muscle, which means that you're not breaking down muscle, which means you can't build back up muscle. You're not doing anything, sis, bro. Now, people ask me how many reps I do as well. I don't count reps. Always into failure. But like I told you, if you can do more than eight, increase the weight. Typically, I will go up to maybe eight reps, sometimes 10, no more than 12, ever. If you're doing more than 12 reps, you need to increase the weight. What are you doing? Seriously, what the f are you doing? And then I'll touch on my shoulder. So as you see right here, I'll do these, grab the free weights. I'll do five of those. Is that four? Is that five? No, now it's five. And now keep one arm up. One, two, three, four. And now keep that arm up, all right? And I'll do the same thing on this arm. And then so on. I'll leave that arm up and keep going. All the way up until it's time for me to do shoulder press. Four sets of everything. Now, after that, it's compound movement time because we've already isolated our chest and we've already isolated our shoulders. Now it's time to tack both of them and finish your workout with a compound movement. Let's do bench press. In this case, we're doing incline bench press. Now, my boy AJ, shout out to AJ. I'm gonna drop his Instagram down low. AJ is actually a trainer and he is currently hitting chest right now. And as you see, his form is impeccable. You can tell that he, look at the striations in his chest. Look at those elbows locked. They're not going anywhere. Form is everything. Me personally, I'm doing incline as well, but I'm doing it on a different kind of machine. This gives me way more mobility than the regular barbell press and I enjoy it a little bit more. It's a little bit more comfortable. So this is what I like to do. I'm giving you guys everything that I enjoy doing. I'll always finish my workout with abs. There's different variations of abs. You can do whatever your favorite thing to do is with abs, but make sure you crush it. Don't give your abs too much time to breathe ever. Don't give any muscle too much time to breathe. Put tension on the muscles. And if you know me, you know, I can't end a workout without doing some jump rope. Even when you mess up on the jump rope, you want to keep it going. Don't stop. Keep jumping. Keep that heart rate up. And don't wait longer than 20 seconds for rest periods. It's time under tension that helps to build muscle. And don't be going walking around the gym talking to people while you're getting your workouts in. Bro, sis, you came to the gym to put work in, not to talk. You can talk at the crib. We putting work in, okay? These were just my fitness routines. I think anybody can do this. It's not hard to make a schedule for it. Like I already told you guys in the beginning of the video, tailor what, exactly what I told you to your schedule. All you have to do is write it down. I just showed you some of my different variations of the workouts that I currently enjoy doing and that are the easiest but most effective for me, all right? Now, I appreciate you guys sticking through this video with me. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section below. Make sure you guys click that like button. You know, I don't really know how I feel about telling people to click the like button because it's like, you can do whatever you want, bro. You can do whatever you want, sis. You ain't gotta click the like button, but I really appreciate it if you click the like button. You gotta act like you got this tick, right? <laughs> So click the like button for me, okay? It's good for analytics. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn those post notifications on. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. And that way you can join the Reps Rico family, okay? We gonna have a big family. I just wanna share all of my knowledge that I've gained from losing weight with you guys. Again, it's your boy Rico and this is Reps Rico. And don't forget, trust the process. That's how you become successful. Peace.